Good morning everyone, Chris here back at it with another video for you all. Today's gonna be an exciting day. Today is the first official wash in the new toy box. I'm in the GT3 right now. I totally forgot about this, but this PDK transmission is so sweet. Watch, I don't know if you're familiar with PDK, but I'm in reverse right now, right? And I'm not rolling back or anything because I haven't touched the gas pedal. Normally in a car, you, you know, you put it in reverse or drive, you'll you have a little bit of, uh, I guess, momentum with your RPMs at a certain way where you can actually move. But here, it's like the Ferrari where you don't actually move until you touch the pedal. Uh, see, I release the pedal and I'm just going to do a stop without touching anything. Pretty cool. I think the same thing in, in drive. So I'm in drive right now. Uh, where's the shaw? See, drive right there on the on the dash, and I'm not moving. See, there's the back of the camera still on. But as soon as you touch, as soon as you touch the gas, then it'll then it'll start going. I don't. I thought, I thought that's pretty cool. It's PDK transmission stuff now. I'll tell you that. Anyway, so I am on my way to the toy box with the GT3. We're gonna do a huge overhaul there today. I got a couple buddies meeting me, and my and my dad, and we're gonna we're gonna wash. I got a bunch of towels here. We're gonna wash, I'm gonna try to wash all of the cars because a lot of them were stored in that old storage facility that I showed you before. And it was, you know, it was dusty, it was dirty. And I wanna get all that off of there. When I washed 488 on 4th of July for my dad, that thing was just, it was it was trash. It doesn't really look like it because it's, it's white, but it was bad. And some of these cars that are at the current toy box are in uh, even worse condition. So we're gonna go there, we're gonna do a huge sweep on all the cars, get them all detailed up and put on flow chargers. Uh, so, you know, we're not using them. So that's the plan for today. So I will, this thing is sweet. I'm talk about this GT3 here a little bit. So this GT3, it, 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 it drives, like, I say this a lot, but it drives like a go-kart. You know, you point it where you wanna go and it just goes, kind of like the McLarens or the Ferraris. As it should for, you know, a, a higher end, 9-11. I'm throwing around the idea of throwing myself in an enormous amount of debt and buying one of those used GT2 RSs. I doubt I'm going to do it because the cost of that is more than the stuff on my mortgage and my home equity loan, so it probably would not be a smart idea to do that. Um, but after driving this, it's, <laughs> I just want more. Alright, I'm going to keep on driving and I'll Bring the camera back home when I get to the toy box. Nice big open space. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna start washing the cars. We're gonna start with the SLS and the 911 we Turbo. I got a time lapse going right over here. We'll probably do two cars at once. Maybe, but the goal is to wash. Uh, I'm gonna try to wash them all. Oh, now you get it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you have a hot wheel car like that. Key. Alright, we're gonna start with the gall wing and then we'll I'll get the gall wing back up here, backed in, charged, and then we'll switch to the turbo. Alright, first time using everything here. So I'm missing some tools, but let's see. How are we gonna do this? Alright, 
thought I was about to close in the cooler. Oh, duh, I can do this. This will help. Oh yeah, he's filling. Yeah. Can use this. I can turn this on here. That'll energize all this. Can you flip that switch on the wall over there? Um, Maybe I gotta come here real quick. There she goes. Is that it? That's it. That's the big one. Alright. Look how trash these things are. Ugh, gross. Alright, we're gonna start washing the SLS wheels. Alright, got about halfway through, halfway through this first wheel. And we decided that we're just gonna, King and I are gonna double team this. So he's gonna work on the wheels and tires while I uh, prep the paint. All right, got the SLS all washed, hair dried, and used a, what do we use, bead maker on it. We're getting ready to put this thing back up, but we're getting the charger all set. Do some final touches on wiping her down. Just need to vacuum out the inside and get the charger up. Get the charger up, which is we're gonna zip tie over here, and then we'll run it up on the on the lift and start on the next car. This thing's so cool. I like the silver and the red. Looks classic. These are pretty interesting cars when they came out with them. These doors. It's one of the last 6.2 liter legit AMGs. <laughs> we can do this one next. And then we'll go on to probably the next two over here and then so on. And then I want to do the GT3 before I go. This is probably the most badass looking car here, in my opinion. This looks like a, like a, like a race car. Yeah, this is classic and comfortable. That's classic and comfortable. That's mean and fast as shit. That's just muscular. This one's pretty exotic and classic looking. You know, I don't want to say classic. I don't mean classic like classic cars. I mean classic as in, uh, like it's timeless. So, yeah, you got the buckets ready. Clean out that one. This one's all set with soap. We'll get on to washing this. This guy's pretty nasty. This thing's all clear, Rob. Otherwise, would have not have done that. <laughs> the boys. Yes. We got one car done. King's just going around put on the dressing. Y'all done, Zeke? Yeah, now the tires are better. Yeah, good job. Got the charger on there. Now we're just gonna go on to car number two. This car was surprisingly trashed. What dressing is that? What dressing is that? Freaking like it. I'm gonna back this guy up a little bit. Thank you. All right, we're gonna do the turbo now. I want to figure out a way to properly do these wheels. I don't want to use harsh chemicals on it. It's water, right? I'll use. I'll use. I think I'll use this car soap. It's usually not as aggressive as. Like wheel cleaner and stuff. God, this thing's badass. 
It's more comfortable than that one, but that one looks more badass. Okay, just finished washing this. King is finishing up on the wheels and tires. This thing cleaned up really nice. Just need to spray down some wet coat and then dry her off. Fred, do you think he's up pretty good? Yeah. You had him outside to dry? Huh? You had him outside to dry? Yeah, that's what they have to do. Oh, damn, okay. This needs poffer plates on it still, because for those who don't know, the poffer plates, like the, oh, the, the Viper, the ZR1, and... Uh, Soon to be this one and then the GT3. Those are all cars that uh, my dad and I own together. So he's on the title and so am I. We just have to transfer Poffer. I think it's six or seven. I think it's seven. I think, I think the ZR1 is Poffer six. Pretty positive. Let's find out. <laughs> yep. So then the Turbo S will be Poffer seven. And the GT3 will be pop for eight. Because again, we both own those cars together. Okay, we're working on the final coat of bead maker on here on the paint and the wheels. King's doing the, the wheels, Rush is doing the paint after I just did the, the, the one coat. And then we'll back this one in, get the charger on it, and we'll go to the next bay. That's a lot of work. Thought I could do it all in one day. <laughs> I mean, I could, but I got. Responsibilities. It's one o'clock already. Damn. All right, we gotta get busting. Time for Poffer 6. Got the zero one all clean, looking good. I'm gonna just pull this guy forward a little bit. That ass is pretty clean, so I think we... That's the one. up on film because it doesn't press it. Getting burnt out here a little bit, so we're not gonna wash anything up over here. King's gonna go ahead and wash his car, and I'm gonna take these ones down because I want to put the Viper facing forward. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Yeah. Let's see. 
a big motor. A hand motor. Like this one. And that bracket's holding in place. <laughs> It'll take off. Eight liter. King's finishing up his car, we just washed Pubert's car. And I just sprayed some iron, some Gian iron on it. I guess that, that turns purple, looks like the car's bleeding. Look how much is on there, we just cleaned this car too. It's just iron deposits in the paint. And they embed themselves in like the clear coat and stuff. Look at this backside here. She's bleeding. Yeah. This is a lot. I've never seen this much before. Yeah, it's cool to see it on white paint. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna shut this up. And I'm gonna arm up here. Whew, how's a that was a busy day. I didn't think it would take us that long to wash. Um, one, two, three, four. I guess, I guess we did five cars. All right, guys. Well, that concludes this video. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll post like a quick time lapse or something. I don't know. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks.